Hello guys and uh, welcome to another new tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can achieve custom bokeh effect in uh, Viewer for Maya using Aperture Maps. So basically, you can see here, I already prepared the scene here. So if we take a current look and this is how our image is looking right now, we will apply a custom uh, background here. So let's select this plane and let it be like this and i will shift it backwards and my and now i will look to my camera here okay and as you can see this is my camera and i will go to attributes viewer physical camera then again viewer camera settings and then i go to the drop down here extra viewer attributes and here i will select my specify field of view i will turn it off and i will uh, insert my manual focal length that is around 70 millimeter like this and i will create a view like this okay let's take a render as you can see it is completely dark because by default our camera value is very very high so we need to lower this f number that is the uh, aperture so i will make this around two and if i take a look here as you can see we're getting this uh, look here and then i will increase my shutter speed to around 120 there we go right and let me adjust my like this okay now it's good right oh uh, let's say 100 okay now we need to select this plane here and i will apply a new viewer material viewer viewer material i will rename it as light underscore environment and i will increase the self illumination tab and i will disable the diffuse and i will go to the self illumination and i will select a map here it is the map as you can see here we will select this right and i will just use a simple camera based uv now take a look there we go we are setting like this and what i will do is I will now we need to go to our camera select camera and we will apply the depth field so let's let's start the, our IPR rendering here okay now if I enable here enable depth of field as you can see our depth of field is activated but the problem is our car is also getting blurred so we need to specify the focus so what i will do is i will select our car and as you can see the distance from camera is around 94 94.5 so we will select our camera again and in the specify focus i will apply the number 95 there we go right and the most important thing right now is we will enable our aperture map here so i will select this map i go to file and the, i have this free aperture maps so let's say select i this one okay now as you can see we are getting the blur effect but our exposure is very very low so we'll get back to and there is an option called effects exposure and i will make it off there we go as you can see it's looking nice and that's very very good looking we are having something glitch here okay so what we'll do is we select this light and make sure we have this option off invisible there we go and see it's looking quite nice you know very very cinematic 
if we go to again my camera and select some other map let's select some this kind of uh, okay this map there we go it's looking really really nice so you can use any of your choice of map it's gonna look awesome so there it is my friends if you like the tutorial please like share and subscribe and that's it i will come up with new tutorial every week so till then bye bye happy new year take care